Hello and welcome to the DW Kit tutorial series. This video is about deploying the system in your organization for testing purposes and production. The installation model is on premise, which means you can install it on a server. Also, the system comes with source code, which you can modify to create the system you need. Meanwhile, you can test it on our website and watch more tutorials to learn more about DWKit. What is DWKit? The short name stands for Dynamic Workspaces Kit. It's a business application constructor that allows you to create a BPM, CRM, or any business system you need. DWKit has all the necessary tools to construct and launch business applications in a snap. The system consists of the following parts. Data model. These metadata describe the SQL database. The data model can be synchronized with the database management system. Forms and a visual editor. Every DWKit form consists of three JSON files. A form layout with a preview that can be customized in the visual editor. A description of the binding to the data model on the basis of which the automatic bidirectional binding of the form to the data takes place. A file with the code of the client user actions, which describes that the form should react to form events. For example, a button click can trigger a chain of actions. Some actions can be predefined, and others can be described by the user, either on the client or server side. Client user actions are written in JavaScript, and server user actions are written in c -sharp. User defined server functions and a built-in ORM. You can write server actions in the admin panel or directly in your project's code in C-sharp. You can set additional filters for getting data for your forms, process the received data, validate the input, and perform business operations before or after user input. DWKit is very flexible when it comes to data access. Any form or data model itself can be used to request data. You can get a collection of dynamic objects that can be used either as a key value dictionary or a dynamic object. It's also possible to create your own strongly typed objects for data access by inheriting from the DB object class. Built-in workflow engine. DWKit features a workflow engine with a visual designer. Security system. This part of the system is based on groups, roles, and permissions. You can control access to both the complete form and to any separate element within the form via permissions. The technical prerequisites for running DWKit are .NET Core for running on the server side, npm.js as a package manager for the client side of the application, Webpack 4 for building the client side application, Make sure you install the fourth version of Webpack because that particular version is fully compatible with DWKit. An SQL database. It can be Microsoft SQL, PostgreSQL, or Oracle. If you want to adjust the system and customize it for your needs, you'll need an integrated development environment. For example, MS Visual Studio or JetBrains Rider. A database management application. For example, MS SQL Server Management Studio or JetBrains Data Grip. Now we're ready to download. You can get the package from our website via the link you see on the screen. Also, you'll find the link in the description of this video. There are four downloading options. The Minimal Core Pack. This doesn't include any sample files to play with. Everything should be created and configured from scratch. We wouldn't recommend it for beginners or for evaluation purposes. Next, the starter pack. It has a blank system structure, including a data model, an admin user, etc., so you'll be able to run and start creating your project in no time. In this tutorial series, we'll be using this system as a base. The vacation request sample, which has a data model, workflow, and user forms for managing vacations in your organization. This is the best choice for evaluation purposes. We've put together a simple working business system. 
Last but not least, you can find the DWKit-based HRM system on our GitHub page. You can use it as an extended example for learning how the system functions. Now that you've downloaded DWKit, you can go ahead and launch it. We'll demonstrate how it runs using the vacation request example. Unpack the archive. First things first, run the database scripts to create DWKit system databases. This is the business part of the vacation request table. Open the readme.txt file in the database script folder and follow the steps. After you run all the scripts, the data model will be ready for operation. Open the solution file with the .sln extension. The IDE will open your project. Open the appsettings.json project configuration file. Find the connection string to the database and change it to match your database name. We're all set. Now run the application by clicking on this button or just press F5. Now we see the login page, and after getting in, we'll see the vacation request interface. Great! We've downloaded and installed DWKit. In the next tutorial, we'll log in to the admin panel and do a quick overview of the entire system. Before we go any further, let's look at the application structure. There are two base projects. OptimaJet.DWKit.Application which includes business logic and contains a set of classes for DWKit and workflow engine initialization and other libraries. OptimaJet.DWKit.Starter application, which is an MVC web app that generates a user interface and provides a set of controllers to work with the DWKit core. As we mentioned at the beginning of this video, DWKit uses React for the user interface. There are three .jsx files in the www root slash javascript slash app folder. app.jsx is an application user interface for logged in users. login.jsx is a login form for unauthorized users. And admin.jsx is the admin panel. If you're going to change any of these files, you'll need to reassemble the React part of the application. Here's how. Install npm.js, run a command in the root folder of the optimajet.dwkit.starter application project. This command will assemble three JavaScript libraries from the .jsx files. Also, you can deploy the system you created with dwkit as a Docker container. This is helpful when you're planning container delivery. Let's look at how it works on Mac OS. Beforehand, install these components or make sure that they're installed. Docker, Docker Compose, Git, and .NET Core. You can find a link with precise instructions on how to do all that in the description of this video. We'll need access to an SQL database to work with. For example, one that's installed on a virtual machine. Let's get started. Clone a Git repository with DWKit onto your computer. Go to the folder vacation request slash starter application. Open the appsettings.json file and enter the connection string. Go to the folder vacation request slash docker. Run container dash build dot bat. This will build a container. Run container-up.bat. 
This will launch the container. Next, open your web browser and try localhost colon 80 to access the system. If this port has been taken by another system, you can set a custom one in docker-compose.yml. Now you know how to download and deploy the system onto your computer. Thank you for watching! Subscribe to the OptimaJet channel to stay up to date with our latest tutorials.